All right, so here we got Bitcoin on Bybit on the one hour. Um, so we do have a short term uptrend. Um, we are being held up by the 21 right now. So as long as we stay up above that 21 and this POC point of control in the VPVR, we still have the potential to make a higher low. Uh, looks like the 21 is crossing the 200 right now. If we can get that 50 to cross that 200, that's we're going to be in. Uh, it's going to look like we're in good shape. Um, now, the thing is, is that we did have bearish divergence. Uh, looks like that's playing out right now. It could have could have played out by now, um, or we could get a wick down. You know, maybe to the 200, and possibly even a wick down to the 50, uh, and then maybe still close back above that last low. Right now, your RSI is in the neutral median zone. We are below the signal line. Did get rejected twice, actually four times from the bullish control zone. We're having trouble getting in that bullish control zone right now. So if we can enter that bullish control zone, I think we come up to the top of this last range at 23 to 40 region. MACD, fresh cross to the downside, but we're going to find out whether this is just a little bit of a uh, you know, retest. Right now, we're just on one tick. Um, we are printing a dark red bar on the histogram. So, <clears throat> vol is low. As you see, your BBWP is in the lower zone. I mean, we're barely going up to the right right now. <clears throat> so, we need to get back above this last high at 21.622 region. Um, if that happens, I think the next stop would be 22,500 uh, uh, on the, in the short term. Um, that would imply that the MACD gets back above that signal line. Same thing with the RSI. I'd like to see us get back above that signal line. I think if we do test the bullish control zone again, I think we can break it. As long as we, uh, we need to get above 21.3 or 21,400 in order to cross that signal line. We need to get above 21,400 in order to see. So we'll cross both the signal lines of the MACD and the RSI if we can get it back above 21,400. So that's the level to watch right now. <clears throat> uh, bearish case. <clears throat> I said we break this POC point of control on the VPVR. I would expect us to come back down to the 100 at 20K. We break 20K in this purple region. That's not going to look good. We don't want to break 19,500. Uh, if that happens, I do think we make new lows. <clears throat> so that's basically it for Bitcoin. Definitely watch Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin's going to dictate what happens with the rest of the market for the most part. Uh, same thing with Ethereum, making higher highs, higher lows. The 50 did cross the 200. Um, so right now we're looking pretty good. Uh, being held up by the 21. Did get rejected from this purple zone so far that we've had drawn out. Remember, we made this purple zone the other day. We knew this was going to be a level of resistance. Uh, we are in the neutral median zone, but we are below that signal line and above the neutral median line. <clears throat> MACD looks like we have a fresh cross to the downside. So this pullback could still have some more in it. Maybe we come down to the 50, <clears throat> but it's all going to depend on whether we can continue this uptrend. So we could come down to the 50 and still have an uptrend on the four hour. Uh, we do have this second POC point of control. Well, the second level, highest level on the VPVR. That's going to be major support also where the 50 is. So as long as we stay above 1121, we'll be looking like we're in good shape. I mean, we got the 200, the 50, and the second highest level on the VPVR to support us. Right now, BBWP is in the lower zone, so your vol is very low. Uh, so if we can get back above that moving average, start to expand, that'll be when the move will probably come. Uh, let's move on to Solana. Solana is doing pretty good today. Um, we are up 6.11% as of right now. We did enter the bullish control zone a little bit, but we fell back out below that signal line, above the neutral median line. MACD fresh cross to the downside. I mean, it looks like we're going to have a pullback. I mean, right now we could go down to the 21 at basically 36.96 and still be in good shape. We could come all the way down to the 50 and still be in good shape at 35.40. Now, our moving averages are fanned out 
That, I mean, that's looking good. We did have this multi-crossover, which would have got you long. You'd have caught this whole move. So we did get above this purple zone. So this purple zone will probably hold us up. We did get rejected from the red zone, like we were talking about for a while now, at 39.21. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it all depends on whether we can hold the 50. And this level... Basically, this level at 3461, so we could get a wick down. We'll find out. Bullish cases that we break this last high. I think the next stop would be 4165. And like I said, and that that would imply that we get back above this signal line. Uh, vol start to expand, and the MACD get back above the signal line. So those are my thoughts for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. If you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great.